Hey everyone, Derek here with Day 5 of the Pokemon Go Journal, and I'm a little late with this one mainly because I had to get some sleep. I've been up late very often, as you can tell by my 2am and 3am uploads, and it's basically gotten to me. But I'm feeling better now, and I actually started my day as soon as I finished up Day 4's journals, because as I was working on it, I looked at Pokemon Go just because I needed to get a screenshot of something in order to better better illustrate something I was talking about as about what I had done. And I noticed that there was a Tatini on my map. And I was like, oh sweet, this is going to be really cool. And I kept the app open the entire time I was working on the video, hoping that it would stick around so that when I finished, I could go out and grab it really quick. And unfortunately, that didn't happen. By the time I went out there, the, the game refreshed and the Dratini was gone. So I was out of luck. But I did get a consolation prize, a pretty nice one. As I was in my car and waiting for it to refresh, a Squirtle popped up. So I caught it. It also glitched a little bit, as you can tell, with it being very close. And that's the thing I actually noticed a lot this, to uh, this time around, or today, or I guess yesterday. Because there was just a lot of glitching happening and... I think it got ironed out because I think it was located in a very specific area, which I'll get to eventually. But basically, I didn't get to play the game until very late at night because I was working on the egg hatching guide and I had a lot of other stuff I needed to get done just as far as myself. And I got to it pretty late. But I decided to go to a nearby riverside. There's a small town along the river and on the other side is a bigger city. And I was like, okay, let's see if I actually find water Pokemon while I'm in, well, near the water. And sure enough, as soon as I get out of the car and start walking down the street right next to the river, Poliwag shows up. Awesome. Go a little bit further, Staryu shows up. Go a little bit further, all of a sudden I'm catching Magikarp, which I need a lot of those for the 400 candies. And it's crazy how many I'm encountering. Uh, it was such a, a, like, I'm blowing my mind because I haven't caught this many new Pokemon in one area in a very long time, well, not a very long time since I've only done this for five days, but since the beginning. And it was a lot of fun. And there were only three Poke Stops nearby, yet there was just so much variety uh, that I was encountering because one of the other things I found that was not a, a water type was a Growlithe. I actually was able to track down a Growlithe and catch it and add it to my Pokedex. That was really cool. And there was a gym on the far end, so I decided I wanted to walk to that gym in order to try to capture it. However, once I got past the farthest Poke Stop, that's when I started encountering issues with the game. I started crashing a lot, I started having, uh, it froze up whenever, whenever I was trying to catch Pokemon, which made me lose the Pokeballs but not catch the Pokemon and I'd have to try again, and it was just very spotty. And I just, uh, of course, when I tried to challenge a gym, it just would not happen. It would freeze up at the word go, and I couldn't capture anything, which was pretty disappointing because I'm still on my quest to, ca to get as many Poke Coins as I can because I want to buy an item upgrade module. Still a ways off on that, but we're getting there. But uh, yeah, so I noticed that was just, I thought I was just having issues at first, but then I got back beyond on the other side of that Poke Stop. And all of a sudden it started working fine again, and I started finding more new Pokemon. I found a, sl a Slowpoke and a Machop on the way back. It was nuts. However, I did run into an issue where Pokemon were coming up like crazy, and I wanted to catch them, but I had maybe 15 Pokeballs left in at one point, and then by the time I was heading back to my car, I was at zero. I, I got to the level 12, that, which allowed me to use Great Balls, but even that was being glitchy on the other side, where I'd use a Raspberry, wouldn't be able to catch it with a Pokeball, so I'd throw a Great Ball, and then it would freeze. So I was just having all kinds of issues with that sort of thing, but I, there was all these Pokemon showing up, and I had to just sort of wait until the most rare ones appeared in order to take advantage of it, because I couldn't just catch all these other ones and build up my Stardust like I wanted to just because I just didn't have that many Pokeballs. So actually, once I got back to my car, I drove back to the park that I talked about yesterday in order to basically get more Pokeballs and restock on all that. And as I'm sitting there just in this area where there's three Poke Stops all around each other, just refreshing, waiting and refreshing them, a group, uh, two cars pulled over and a group of about nine people got out and uh, joined me and popped po uh, Pokemon lures on all three of them, and they were just trying to catch Pokemon in there. Now, nothing rare showed up for them. It was still the same basic stuff, but I was able to catch a few more Spearows to work toward a Fero, which I did evolve and get one of those. And it was nice to just sit back, relax, and talk to them, and 
see how their experiences are going, see what Pokemon they found, see exactly how it's been because some of them ranged to being pretty competent to other people being brand new at the game so they were still learning the ropes and it was just a kind of a fun chill time actually one guy was able to catch a butterfree because uh he used an incense as well which was really cool good for him i've been trying to work my way up to a butterfree but it hasn't quite happened yet oh well but uh i also put myself in another the gym that was nearby because i was team blue and all these guys were Team Valor and Team Instinct, so red and yellow. And they were kind enough to let me take the gym, collect my coins, and then they took it. Then they took it for themselves. So I got 20 coins tonight, almost at 100. We're slowly getting there. For some reason, the Poke, the the, the gym I put my Lickitung at has not been taken yet. I am shocked about that. I don't know why it stuck around more than any other. I think maybe other Team Blues jumped on it and just started bolstering it, and we were able to maybe get a foothold. Which I'll take. I, I, I want that money because the thing is, even though I was low on Pokeballs, I'm actually getting very high on items. It's, there's a, I have almost 250 items at the moment and I think my max is 350. And a lot of those are revives. I actually might actually have to start tossing revives uh, because I haven't been able to do many gym battles and I've actually done pretty well at the gym battles. So yeah, that's, that's actually kind of an interesting conundrum to have. But, you know, not, nothing too major to report because... I've fallen into my routine. I am. Um, I travel to a different area, catch what I can, whether it's old Pokemon or new Pokemon, new Pokemon hopefully, go to certain areas for Pokestops to fill up all my items, talk to people it seems, and just walk around and experience the game. It's been, it's been fun. And the funny thing is, I actually had somebody on Twitter send, send me a message basically saying, you were so down on this game before it came out, you were very vocal that you just didn't think it was going to work. And obviously that's not the case. Are you going to apologize? And I'm just thinking to myself, I didn't respond because that's just sort of a baiting question. But my whole thought on that is, no, there's, I'm not going to apologize because, you know, that's what I thought. That is my, was my, those were my legitimate feelings on the game. And you know what? I was proven wrong. I'm having a lot of fun with this game. It's having a lot more longevity than I ever imagined it would. It has caught on more than I ever thought it could, even beyond, I didn't even think about just the casual audience because I didn't think a casual audience would gravitate towards this sort of thing. And they have. And you know what? I am so glad I've been wrong. It has been wonderful seeing this game branch out and do as well as it has and just get this sort of positivity going This that was just been lacking lately and it's so nice to just be able to walk down the street and see people it's almost like going to convention you just know when you see somebody is using that app you know you have a common point of interest that you can talk about that thing with and i don't I, the only place i ever only time i ever get that sort of feeling is that when i go to a convention and to have that in the real world around my town and just meeting new people it's a lot of fun and i, I gotta praise the game more than anything else for that but on my own personal quest, I wanted to you know, fill out the Pokedex as much as possible. I was really happy I finally got my Pokedex up to 50 unique captures. And uh, because I evolved my Zubat into Golbat. I actually have an Oddish that I could evolve into Gloom, but I have... It's at like 200 and something, and it's only maybe halfway along its CP line. So I want to definitely start feeding it some candies and uh, stardust in order to power it up before I evolve it, because I could actually have a major powerhouse of a Vileplume at this rate. So we'll see how it goes, but as of right now, I because I'm falling into such a routine, I'm going to maybe try to head out to there's some nearby mountains. I'll go up there, see if I can find some rock Pokemon. I want to go to the near the city to see what I find in there, as far because I hear there's a one section that has just a ton of Pokestops, so I want to check that out. and. I think after day seven, I think I'm going to call it quits because there's really not too much else to report unless I go on, like if, like say I take a trip and I go to a completely different area outside of my general location. That would be something worth a journal, but otherwise I'm basically seeing the same thing. So I think a, week wor a week's worth of journals will really cover my feelings on Pokemon Go and it's been fun and I want to hear more of your stories and I really hope if you are in an area that doesn't have a lot of Pokemon or doesn't that has the game hasn't been released yet like with Canada I really hope they get that ironed out soon so that you guys can join us and they fix these issues because I feel so bad for the people who really want to play this and they just can't it is an awful feeling to have and here's hoping it gets fixed soon so with all that said, thank you guys for watching, and of course stay tuned to Game Explained for more on Pokemon and other things gaming as well. Alright guys, bye.